Hello guys, gals, and my non-gender conforming pals. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Carrington, and if you're new, I would love if you consider subscribing. If you guys want to be notified of all my future uploads, hit the little bell right next to the subscribe button. So for today's video, I'm going to do a roundup of everything that I bought through the month of August. Um, I'm probably going to do this monthly because these are going to be products that you're going to see in future videos. And I would love to get your guys' feedback about what things you would like to see reviewed, um, what you're not really that interested in, stuff like that. So for today's video, I'm going to show you the products. I'm probably not going to do a lot of swatching because whenever it comes time to actually do those videos, I will be doing a lot of swatching, a lot of different trying on of all the products, stuff like that. So for today, I'm just kind of going to show you what all I bought, talk about it, if I have any opinions, if I've ever tried them, and let's get started. So first is Juvia's Place. I made quite a large order on Juvia's Place. I bought their little matte lipsticks. I bought eight. I bought eight of them. I've got the shades Amav Moment, Toffee, and Vogue. Me, 2020, or oh, hashtag 2020. Kebby or Kebi, K E B I, Muted, Lady, and Libra. I also bought all of their lip liners. I don't know, does it say? Oh, yep. Okay, so I've got Koala, Lush, Sweet Nothing, So Rare, Scorpio, and Love Me. And then next up, I bought one, two, three, four, five gloss, five of their glosses. I got the shades It's Electric, Caramel Rose. What does it say? Sis. Barely There. And It's Glass. So, stay tuned. You definitely be using some of those. And then I got two palettes. I'll be able to show the insides of these because I didn't, um, you know, I opened these. So I got the Nudes by Juvia's Place. And I got the Wahal palette. I love this palette. I have already tried this out. I will. So next up is Sigma. I bought a lot of brushes. I didn't buy any makeup, although I was kind of interested in the Corderosa palette and the Untamed palette, maybe. I just didn't purchase them. I'm planning on purchasing them. I think I need to wait for the quarter rose to come back in stock. I think that was out of stock last time I checked. But okay, so the couple of the brushes I got, I got the E21 smudge brush. I got the E40 tapering blending brush. I got uh, the E36 blending. It's good for hooded, droopy eyelids. It's perfect to get out here on the outer crease or really do some really good detailing where you need to so it's not like taking up your whole lid like most brushes do. I also got the P87 Edge Precision. So this is gonna be for concealer, and I really wanna try this out. I've heard some people talk about this and really liking it for their concealer. So I'm gonna try that out. And I also got the E33 Diffuse Blending Brush. Last, from Sigma, I got the Glitzy Fritzy Essential Eye Kit. My box came a little bit bent. They weren't very nice with it during shipping. Um, but I got this set mainly because she also has the hooded droopy eyelids as I do. Um, and so she got a, made a brush set curated to help with her eye shape. And so I really wanted to try out these brushes. So I'm going to wash them and then I'll be trying them out shortly in another video. And okay, so next we're going to move on to Sydney Grace. And I got the Tiny Marvels palette. Let me open it up. So some of my shades came kind of broken. Um, and I contacted Sydney Grace. Let me just tell you, their customer service is phenomenal. I was like, hey, my shades came broken. I was like, you know, it's all over the palette. It's mixed in with other shades. And they were just like, okay, well, we'll send you out another palette. And so they're sending me out another palette as well as a single eyeshadow as like a, like, sorry, we messed up. And I just thought that was so great. They got back to me in a timely fashion. And they really just tried to do everything they could to make it right. And I just really appreciated that. The Minus Cosmetics Smoky Glow PR Kit. I, I truthfully just wanted the palette, but that was out of stock. So I was like, well, I guess I'll just go ahead and get the rest. Uh, so I got the little um, highlighting duo, duo. It's kind of like a pink and gold. And whenever I swatched it, it really 
looked like it was going to do well with my skin tone because my skin tone is Casper the Friendly Ghost. It came with these these glosses and I think that these glosses are really pretty colors. However, I did swatch them when I first got them. They're so sticky. So I don't know if I really want to use those. But if you guys are really into that and want me to try it out on my channel, let me know. But just from the swatch, it was just so sticky. And then last was the Smoky Glow Palette. I love this color story. I love pinks. I love purples. I feel like they really go well with my eye color. I have a hazel eye color, so pinks and purples are perfect for my eye color. Okay, next I have ColourPop. And I did break down and I got the whole entire Candyland collection. You guys, this collection, I love it so much. I loved Candyland as a kid. My favorite was Lord Licorice. I know like you're like, oh, that's the bad guy. It's the bad guy. I know. I loved Lord Licorice. I don't know what it was about Lord Licorice. That I loved so much but I did. My kids have Candyland. We play Candyland all the time. Um, I also picked up some falsies and okay. I don't wear a lot of falsies. Um, the reason being is because my eyes are so small and hooded and stuff like that that wearing falsies covers up most of it. So I don't wear a lot of falsies but I don't know. The shade, this, not shade, this style chick doesn't look terrible, but I got Mammy. I feel like that's going to be way too big for my eye shape. We'll see. We'll find out. I'm not afraid of try, trying new things, so we'll, we'll see. I also picked up a couple things from the Wild Nothing collection. I got the Wild Nothing palette, and I got the Lux lipstick and, oh no, lipstick, what is this? Lip oil and Skinny Dip. I didn't really, the rest of the collection didn't really speak to me. I'm not a huge fan of the jelly shadows. I think the jelly shadows are absolutely stunning, but I'm just not a fan of them. I just feel like they dry out really fast. Um, the texture just, I just don't really like the texture. From the Garden Variety collection, I just got the palette. That's all that I got. Um, that's all that I was really interested in in that as well. Last collection that I got, I got the whole entire Sailor Moon collection. I bought the whole collection for me and then I bought the whole entire collection for my daughter for Christmas. She's six right now but she's going to be seven by the time Christmas rolls around and she has her very own vanity. She has her own like little makeup stuff and usually like sometimes when I'm going to declutter like my makeup I'll go ahead and give her some depending on what it is. But yeah that's all that I got from Colourpop and next let's move on to Ulta. Okay, so for Ulta, I'm sure you can already see right here, but I got, oh no, everything's falling, a beauty fridge um, from Flawless. So I haven't plugged this in yet. I haven't tried it yet. I literally just got it. So I'm going to try plugging this in and I'll let you know how everything goes. Next thing that I got, I got some of the, I got two things of these Kiss Magnetic Liner Lashes. And when you see this video that's going to go up after this one where I do this eye look, um, I used not these two, but another set that I had bought it, like last month. It's actually really disappointing. It's really disappointing, guys. I did not like them. So I, I'm either going to try playing around with the one that I just had, that I just tried in the other video, and see if maybe I can get it to work. Um... I don't know. I don't know. I just wasn't a fan of these. So I'm kind of upset that I got these. Okay. Next up, I bought this Urban Decay All Nighter in the Glowy. I also got the primer to match it. I thought it was going to be bigger than this. I don't know why I thought it was going to be bigger. I thought this thing was going to be bigger. It's not. Hopefully it works good. I haven't seen anybody do any reviews or anything on it. So I'm going to try it out. I got this Nabla glitter palette sorry if I'm blinding you guys the glitter palette um I will say I like the way these glitters feel when I swatched them I really liked the way that they felt I haven't tried them on the eyes or anything 
So I'm gonna try these on the eyes. I really liked it. I got the Age Perfect Concealer from L'Oreal. Um, they had this on sale where it was like buy two, get one free. So then I also got the um, Radiant Serum Foundation. Again, my skin is very dry, so trying to find something that's going to help it out, I'm all for. I also got the Voluminous um, in Black is Black Noir. I've heard really good things about this mascara. I have never tried it, so I figured I'd throw it in my basket and give it a try. I bought my NYX glitter primer. Um, whenever I apply any shimmer, except for like, you know, the liquid ones that I did on this eye, any kind of shimmer, glitter, whatever, I always apply this. I feel like it helps it stick and there's not a lot of glitter fallout. Sometimes shimmers, although it's not glitter, can have like little particles that kind of just transfer off the face. I hate that. So any powder, shimmer, glitter, whatever, this is going on my eyes. Okay, I also got these Maybelline Super Stay Ink Coffee Editions in the shades Hazelnut, Hypnotizer, and Chai Genius. I thought they were really pretty and they weren't super dark. They had two other colors that were really dark, so I'm hoping those will work pretty good for my skin tone. I also bought the It's Cosmetics Your Skin But Better Foundation. I got the shade Fair Neutral 11. I normally have cool undertones. However, the one that I needed, the 10.5, was out, so I figured I would try the 11. We'll see how that goes. I also got a Buxom um, Lip Gloss and Pumpkin Spice Latte. These smell so good. I love the way these smell. Like, I just want to smell it right now. Hold on. It's just, it has like a fall scent to it. I love it. I love everything about it. All right, next I bought these two NYX liners. Um, I got in the shade Hot Thing, which is the yellow, and Shine Bitch in purple. Um, I don't do a lot of liner except for today I did because that's actually the magnetic liner that was supposed to be for the lashes that ended up not working. But I don't do a lot of liner. So the only liner I like to do is like in the waterline. So I bought these for the waterline. Hopefully they work out. Okay. This is Rapid Lash. It's supposed to be an eyelash enhancing serum. I have started using this. I've been using it for about a week. I don't really know if I've noticed anything, but it's only been a week. So I'm going to give it a little bit more time. It said it would take four to six weeks. So I'm going to let it take that full amount of time. My eyelashes aren't terrible these are my natural lashes they're not awful i would just like them a little bit fuller and maybe a little bit longer so i'm gonna see how well this works out i also bought three of these elf ride or die lip balms um and i got the ones in tough cookie boss berry and just peachy i have not tried these yet i prefer whenever i go to bed to kind of have a thick lip mask so the Laneige um, I use a lot so I've heard a couple youtubers talk about how this is really nice so I'm gonna try that whenever I run out of my before bedtime one um, give that a try see how much I like that I bought this was on sale so I bought the Too Faced pineapple paradise strobing bronzer I haven't used it yet I did kind of swatch it it smells it has a very strong scent like I am not Kind of reminds me of alcohol in a way, truthfully. I don't know. I'm not a fan of the way it smells, but I am excited to try it. I also got a little sample of this Urban Decay Lash Freak. The wand intrigues me. I'm not going to lie. The wand is very intriguing. So I'm going to give this a try. I got this It brush for buying that foundation. It's so soft. I have not used it yet, but I'm excited to because of just how soft it is. And I hope it works really well for foundation. I also got an e.l.f. sponge. This was free for buying those Ride or Die lip balms. Um, I've never heard anything bad about these sponges, so I'm really excited to try that. Truthfully, I probably need to, um, you know, stop using this one. It's so dirty, even though I wash it. It's, so it's about done. I also got the Catrice HD Liquid Coverage Foundation. They just came out with lighter shades not that long ago, so that's why I haven't tried it. So I've got 010 Light Beige. Um, so hopefully this works for me. All right, I got a couple more products to talk about for the Ulta haul. I've got the Too Faced Plump and Prime. Um, what is this? Like serum thing. I am really excited. I have seen some really good reviews on this. And this is like 
luxury, nice packaging. I'm super excited about this. Excited to try that. I also bought these BH, like the sugary cosmetics line. I got sugar cone, which is the brown, cherry on top, which is the red, and the cotton candy. My shades came busted in this, so um, I'm going to try to press them back together, but this is like the pinky purple one. So I'm really excited about those. And then last two things from, oh no, I guess I got three things from Ulta. I got this Cos RX Advanced Snail Essence. I love an essence, especially for as dry as my skin is. Um, I really like the Lancome one, but that one's just so expensive. So I wanted to give this a try. I'm going to try that out when I finish my next essence. Guys, I'm so excited for these Harry Potter brushes. It comes with four brushes, a powder brush, an angle like blush brush, fluffy crease brush, and a smudge brush. I love Harry Potter. And this is like supposed to be like the Deathly Hallows. So this is the Deathly Hallows, the wand, the cloak, the stone. I love that. I, uh, I'm such a Harry Potter nerd. Last thing is going to be this KP Bumpy Racer from First Aid Beauty. I got this because I have type 1 diabetes. And so I get these little red bumps on the back of my arm. And I exfoliate. I've tried different exfoliators. Nothing really helps with that. Um, so I've heard a lot of people say that even though they exfoliate, they've tried this and this helped with their bumps. So I'm really going to try this out. And if it works well and it doesn't irritate my skin, I might try it on my daughter who also has the really bad bumps. So, all right, that is it for the Ulta. Next on to Sephora. Okay, the very last is Sephora. So first I got the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Setting Powder in Fair One. Um, I have used this a few times. I love it. I think this is such a good powder, especially if you have very dry skin. Um, also, obviously, don't go overboard with your powder, but I like to set it underneath my eyes and then kind of like my cheeks where my bronzers and blush are going to go, and that's about all I use powder for. Everywhere else kind of looks a little cakey, especially up here. I don't know what it is about my forehead, but it's just so cakey up there. So again, I really, really like this, and you guys should definitely check it out. Check it out if you haven't already. I bought all four of the Patrick Ta blushes. So they come in, she's so LA, do we know her? Oh, she's different and she's that girl. I haven't opened these yet, I'm really excited to try them. I would love to do a video on these. Let me know if you guys are interested. Next, I bought the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Liner and Pillow Talk. I've heard nothing but good things about that. I also got the Anastasia Brow Pen, the new one where it's like a marker in soft brown. I bought two hourglass. I bought an hourglass blush in mood exposure. It's kind of like a mauve -y sort of blush. And then I also bought the bronze powder. Okay, this you would think is not going to show up on your skin. Like, even when I put it on my finger, like, there's no way that that would show up on your skin, right? It does. It blows my mind. I don't know how, but it does. It just shows up on your skin it, and it's beautiful and I think that's I got it in the lightest one that they have I think they have like six shades I got it in the lightest one that they have next I bought the hourglass unlocked mascara I'm so excited to try these I've never tried one of those micro no what is it called those like microfiber where it's like tubing tubing mascara I have never tried a tubing mascara so I'm really excited to try this Next, I got the Charlotte Tilbury Luxury Palette in Walk of No Shame. And it came in a duo with the Walk of No Shame kind of jewel pot. So I'm really excited to kind of put, pair these together. I am going to do a video on this for sure. I also got, okay, I got a lot of stuff. I got this contour wand in Fair. I personally like to cream contour or cream bronze. I know it's kind of hard with masks because it does come up. But personally, I, I just really like it. I just think it looks so natural, so beautiful, so I do it a lot. <clears throat> Next, I got these two Nasha, no, Natasha Denona Diamond and Blush palettes. Yeah. I've tried one of them. The highlights are just very, very glittery very glittery I'm 
I'm just not a fan of that. It's just so glittery. I got the Pat McGrath Rose Decadence Palette, which I filmed this look and this will be up after this video. Just, it's so stunning. And then I got two Natasha Denona Chromium shadows. For $28, I expected these to be a lot bigger and they are not. I'm a little bit disappointed, but I got it in Infra Nude and Ultraviolet. <clears throat> I also bought the Pat McGrath palette, the Divine Rose 2, and then of course I got the um, Divine Rose 1 palette. Again, really excited to try this out, play with it. It looks absolutely stunning. Okay, I have all the other palettes, but I did not have this one, and I literally just bought it. Look how beautiful that is. Ah, oh, stunning. And these shadows and these palettes are so pigmented. I tried to do a blue look with the blue palette. Oh, it's more pigmented than I thought. So then the whole thing was ruined. I had to redo it. Ugh. I also got the, this was on sale, Natasha Denona Tropics palette. Looks stunning. <clears throat> and then of course I had to get the Natasha Denona Nude palette. This one just looks absolutely stunning and so up my alley. I love, except for, especially this, like, rhodium shade. Next, I got this Charlotte Tilbury Jewel Lips in the shade Pillow Talk. It came with a lip liner in a set, so I was really excited about that. I got the Charlotte Tilbury Setting Spray. I got the mini. I've heard this smells strong, so I'm kind of like, eh, about it, but we'll try it out. And then I got some Natasha Denona the mini palettes. Okay, I got the Leela. I got, which one is this one? The mini sunset, the mini gold, the mini star, and the mini nude palettes. So I got all those minis. And then I got the Huda Beauty Nude, and I got in medium. I do want to get the other two, but this one kind of seemed more like what I was interested in. The light one seemed really light, and I like kind of like deeper colors. And then the dark one just seemed really dark, so I just, for the time being, just went for the medium. And then last, last thing. I feel like this went by faster than I thought it was going to. But this is the Pat McGrath Star Fetish. Right, it's called Star Fetish, right? I don't know. Oh, Dark Star. Dark Star Mascara. Let me know what you guys want to see in upcoming videos. And if you guys are like, hey, I've seen you in that same shirt all this week. That's because I pre-film. Sundays are my days off from work. I work six days a week. I work two jobs. So Sunday is kind of my day off. So I kind of try to do as much filming as I can. So let me know what all you guys saw in here that you guys really want to see. Um, again, I already filmed with one of the chromiums and the... Rose Decadence palette. That'll be up after this video. So okay, yeah, let me know. What did you guys like? What did you not like? Are you guys thinking about picking any of these things up? Let me know down in the comment section and I hope you guys have a great day.